Nobody's watching. Wait, this door is not shut. Oh, that freaked me out. This door was not shut all the way. <clears throat> they gave me a mask and they told me I had to wear it. The entire time I'm in the gondola by myself. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I freaking hate this. I should keep the mask over my face just so you guys don't have to see how freaked out. Oh, and it's going fast this time, too. Well, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God, I should just keep my eyes closed. I forgot I was afraid of heights until I got on this thing. And the winds are blowing like crazy. Oh, man. That's where we're at if you want to see what I'm doing. I think it'll probably be more entertaining to see me freaking out. They told me I have to wear a mask. If we fall 5,000 foot, the mask will save me. Oh, this thing is, can you see it rocking side to side? I tried to time it so I wouldn't be on here when the wind was so bad. I couldn't help it. Oh, well, nothing, nothing to make you feel like you're alive, like, uh, feeling like you might die. Oh, I hate this so much. I should have walked the five miles back down. I'm going to probably delete this video because I'm probably going to be embarrassed. There aren't many things that scare me, but this is absolutely mm -hmm. one of them, and I hate it. I'm still really sad over my dog dying and a whole bunch of other things that really bum me out. I, when I, I thought I'd do this live video. I mean, I'm probably fine. They've never had an accident on this gondola. So there's no real, you know, logical reason for me to be so afraid. But I am freaking. I see there's some new people. Let me show you where I'm at. I haven't really put myself in a situation where I, oh, it's just shaking like crazy. I hate this. I haven't put myself in a situation where I've had to be afraid of heights in a long time. I forgot how bad it is. Although this is extra sketchy being up quite so high. I've lost all my viewers. Nobody cares. Um, I came to Mammoth Lakes in a car with a tent. I'm not doing the RV thing this year. I'm scared shitless. Oh, they're moving it faster. Thank God. I'd rather go faster than just sit still. Oh, the wind is horrible. I might walk the last half. I wonder if they have a, like a truck or something or a golf cart or something they can drive up here for scared people like me. I'm really not that scared, but I am probably way more scared than you can tell from this video. Like my legs are like shaking. I've got butterflies in my stomach. My feet are tingling like they're being tickled. I hate heights. The wind is calming a little bit, but this thing is still shaking back and forth. And we still got quite a ways to go, too. I'm glad at least a couple people are watching. So I told myself when I decided to take this ride back down, I'm going to make a live video. That way, if I die, at least I'll be famous. I'll have accomplished something. People will be like, yeah, remember that YouTuber that was live streaming when his gondola car fell? <laughs> Let's hope not. Oh, it's moving a little faster again. Good. I think the speed is based on the wind. If the wind drops a little bit, they can move it a little faster. Because when I got to the top, I asked the guy, I'm like, oh, there go the wind again. Do you ever have to shut this thing down because of the wind? And he said, well, if it gets above 55, we have to shut them down. I don't know how they get people off the mountain in that case. We have to wait where they have carts or something. I don't know. There's also, you can walk back down. It's a five mile hike. Um, there may be a shorter route just for emergency situations. And so I asked him, I said, well, you know, how, how fast does the wind have to be before you shut this down? And he said, 55. I said, how fast are we today? He said, oh, 45 to 50. And that was earlier. I swear it's shaking way stronger now than it was when I came up. 
when I came up, I was sketched, but it wasn't going side to side like this. <sighs> okay, how scared can I be when I'm laughing? But no, I'm, I'm, I'm a little freaked out. But that's okay. They gave me a mask. If I fall, this will protect me. I'll just hold it up like a parachute and be like... <sighs> if I blow into it hard enough, I can fly back up to the top. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I just want to go home. <laughs> I just want to go back. Just, just let me go back. <laughs> Let's show you guys something other than me. It is scenic up here. And one nice thing about being in a car by my, myself, I know that it's only my weight in here. I don't think weight really makes that much difference, but it kind of feels like it does. Oh, and you can have your bikes in here too. People bring their bikes up on the gondola and then ride back down. I kind of wish I had a bicycle. That would have been way better. I would have Oh, crap. Every time we go through one of those things, the whole thing shakes and rattles and it like freaks me out. Is anybody saying anything? No. I not only don't get super chat, I don't even get regular comments. I think I lost half my subscribers yesterday with that, with that. I hate it when it does that with that letter message. <sighs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my most recent video. It was a joke. Some people got really butthurt. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. Well, what do I know? <laughs> Apparently everything I think is wrong anymore. Thank you for the thumbs up, whoever that was. So yeah, I am car camping. Uh, there's some new people. I know I'm repeating myself, but... I'm out car camping with a tent. I left my motor home at home. I got this new motor home and I got to do a bunch of stuff to it before I can take it on the road. It's a lot closer than it was. I've got a lot of that stuff done and I should have the rest of it done by September. But I couldn't stay home all summer. I had to get out. I had to do something. So I borrowed a friend's car that gets like 40 miles a gallon. Then I came up to Mammoth Lakes for the summer. And I'm really digging it, not for the summer, just for like a week or 10 days. I'm really digging it, but uh, it is busier than I have ever seen it up here. I didn't even get, I didn't even get a chance to, um, I gotta put my mask on or they'll yell at me and make me walk down. If it was a store, I'd just walk out, but I ain't walking five miles down this. Although, I, I think the walk from the second part is probably a lot shorter and a lot easier. Oh, I lost everybody, didn't I? Maybe she's hot. You want to check on my car? <laughs> no, of course not. Why would she? Uh-oh, the doors are opening on their own. Hello. Yeah. Yep. Have a good morning. Thank you. She was even cute. I thought. Wow. Way out of my league, though. Oh, boy. have to go through this little part. I know this is boring as hell. I could walk back down from here, but I really don't want to. But as soon as we get out of this little building, I can pull this thing back off and breathe again. It's hard enough to breathe in these things at sea level, let alone 11,000 foot. 
Look at him. They're looking at me. They're like, he pulled his mask down. Make him walk. Make him walk. Make him walk. <laughs> Okay, this next part is still kind of sketchy. Waypoint we're going through right now. Then I got to go the rest of the way back down to the lodge. And this halfway point is a little sketchy. But not nearly as scary as the top. They're going to come and yell at me for pulling my mask down. Make him walk, make him walk. Oh, God. Okay, here's some of the things. Oh, they stopped. They're going to make me walk. Damn it. They stopped me. They're going to make me walk. No, that's like an old uh, snow cat. And uh, there's the old gondola way out there. You know, you guys could throw me some likes. The old gondolas are kind of cool. But I'm glad I'm in the newfangled gondola. I feel a little safer in this. Hey Patrick, what's up? Yeah, it's 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 cool. I like it. I'm glad I've never come up on the gondola before. I'm glad I did. Well, this has got to be getting really boring now that we're not moving, and I've kind of run out of things to say. I guess I'll talk about life. I've been meaning to update everybody. I just haven't been able to bring myself to do it. So my dog is gone. Sierra died. I finally had to put her down. I've been just. I was already depressed before that happened. I guess watching her die over the course of three or four months. I'm supposed to keep this on, but I don't think they're gonna, I don't think they could even see me here. Um, yeah, watching her die over the course of three or four months was really hard. And then I, you know me, I'm normally a single guy. I don't normally, I mean, I get around, don't get me wrong, I get mine, but I don't normally fall for anybody. And when I do, it's usually like instantaneous and it's rare that they feel the same right away. I met somebody earlier this year that I really liked and everything just went to shit. And now she hates me and won't even talk to me. So there's one more reason to be depressed. I am way less depressed than I was like for the last three months. Now I'm just sad. There's a difference between depression and sadness. Depression, you don't want to do anything. Sadness, you just... You're sad. But you can at least make yourself do stuff like this. Get out and have fun and, you know, do things to forget. You can forget sadness. You can't forget depression. And I am normally one of those people that manage my depression really well. But this year was just a shitstorm of three different things and I, I couldn't handle it. I mean, the COVID and the girl who decided... She liked somebody else, but she always gave me just enough to make me think that maybe there was a chance when I think we both knew there was never any chance. That was the losing my best dog ever. So I gotta shut up. I don't want to go back to being depressed. I'd rather be scared. So let's get this fucking show on the road, people. What are we doing here? Oh, that one probably heard me say she was cute. She's coming to get my number. <laughs> yeah, right. I feel like I'm wearing a diaper on my face. What's the alarm mean? Oh, it means we're going. Okay. Earlier there was an, an alarm that I think was like a wind alarm. take a look at all this stuff as we drive through. I guess I should have got out at this one and walked around. I didn't walk around at the halfway point on my way here. I really should have. Oh well, too late now. Oh boy, here we go. They're moving pretty quick, so that's good. God, I hate this. And every time, at least the wind's not moving us back and forth now. That's nice. I do feel a lot more comfortable. Oh, there's a little bit of wind. Ooh, we're moving now. I like it when they move them fast. Well, thank you guys for watching. 
Uh, thumbs up are always appreciated. <laughs> now, um, I'm not nearly as scared on this lower part. I was freaking on the top part. It's funny that I would be scared of something like that because there are very, very few things that scare me. But uh, heights, apparently, is still one of them. I almost didn't come back down. I almost walked the five miles because I was like, no, I'm not doing that again. But no, like I said earlier, for the new people, nothing to snap you out of a depression. Like, fearing for your life a little bit. Oh. I hate that sound, though. <laughs> and every time I go through these things, the whole thing shakes. I was going to go to the Devil's Post Pile today, and I guess I still could, but I think I've spent enough time here already that, um, oh, I hate that. I think I've spent enough time here already that, uh, I'll probably just go back to camp, find me a nice camp and a hot spring, get set up for the night, hang out, have a good soak. Go buy something good for dinner in town. Maybe I'll go to Roberto's or Salsa's or... I don't know. There's a few good places in town. I'm glad people are watching. And thank you for the uh, thumbs up, whoever did that second one. I need to start making more videos. I got a lot of footage from this trip. I'll edit it together at some point. I think I'm freaked out now. Imagine if I had to be in one of those things. Oh, you can't even see them. Lift chairs. That would freak me the hell out. It is kind of weird leaving all my pets at home in the motorhome and just coming up in a car. <laughs> in a car by myself. Um, if you could see how much my legs are tingling right now, you'd understand. Some of you probably have a fear of heights. You probably get it. Um, it's not all heights, but. This kind, this kind scares me. Makes me scared. Makes me very scared. Oh, I don't even want to move in here because I'm afraid it'll shake the gondola more. I forgot what I was saying now. Oh, yeah, so all my pets are at home. Kenya, my surviving dog, who's really old and she's got some problems coming on of her own. She hasn't really liked me since the other dog died. I let her come in when they came to the house to put Sierra down and... Kenya watched me let this guy kill Sierra, and I don't think she understood, so she really doesn't like me that much anymore. So she's been spending most of her time outside anyway, so I left her at home in my friend's yard. And apparently she's doing great. Cats are pretty much self-sufficient. As long as they got food and water and they don't hang themselves on something. I do have a camera set up inside my house, a ring camera, but uh, my hotspot I've been here. I've been coming up every year for like 10 years. And I've never rode the gondola before, but I'm glad I did it. It was like $32 or something like that. Crazy. Um, so Kenya stayed home. The cats, I think, are going to be okay. The Wi-Fi that runs my camera, it's a at and hotspot, unlimited, high speed. Um, every time the wind blows, I like freak out a little um and that squeak's not nice either but at least right now i'm over the building so like if we fall right now i'd probably only drop 30 feet i'd probably only like break my back and be paralyzed for life only <laughs> Whoa. we're almost done so i'm going to end this video in a minute I better put the mask back on before they yell at me. I guess they can't really make me walk down now, can they? But I'm not sure. This ticket might work for some other stuff here, so I don't want to piss them off just yet. We'll do the, we'll do the half, half mask. That's my compromise. I guess I can't get out. I guess I can't get out until the door's open. Pretty good. Which way's out? Okay, thank you. Well. See you, Grunt. Grunt helmet. Oh, yeah, my helmet. 
Well, I don't know how I got up here, but we're done now. You want to take a look real quick here at the uh, at the everything? I'll keep the video going until I get down there to the mammoth statue. So like I said, for the new people who may not have been watching, I was going to go to the Devil's Post Pile today. It's not too far up the road. But I think I'm going to save that for tomorrow. I don't know. When I get back to the car, I'll see what time it is and make up my mind from there. Here's another like little chairlift just for riders and bikes. It would be cool to bring my bike here. I have an e-bike. Oh, my phone's almost dying. My battery's low. Um, it would be cool to bring a bike here and uh, uh, go ride some of these trails downhill. I think that would be pretty awesome. I wouldn't even need my e-bike. I should look in, look into it in town tomorrow and see what they charge to rent just a regular mountain bike. I could bring it up on the bus. There's trails back down from here, on-road and off-road. The, there's trails back down from the uh, lakes basin. So I could spend all day riding up to the hill for free on the bus with the bike and then riding back down the hills on the bike. If it's like 50 bucks or less, I might do it. You can buy like these little bags of gems here. And uh, they give you little strainers. And you can kind of strain out through the strainers and clean out the dirt and keep the gems. Hey, Donnie, how you doing? So yeah, it's really nice up here. It's uh, really cool. I'm almost tempted to get lunch over here at the lodge. But I think I'm going to go back down into town. There's a barbecue place I was looking at earlier. I think that's where I'll go get my lunch. You're allowed to bring your dogs on the gondola. I thought that's kind of cool, but I didn't bring any dogs with me today. All right, here's the statue of the mammoth. This is probably where I'll end this video. There's where we just came from. I got five people watching. Thanks everybody who's watching. And thanks for those who left the thumbs up or those who left comments. I'm gonna try to make more videos now that I'm out doing some more stuff and kind of over this whole depression thing. Mostly, I mean, <laughs> I'm still pretty upset and bummed out about some stuff, but mostly I'm back to normal, I think. So, uh, hey Tigger, how you doing? Hope you're having fun. Um, mostly now that I'm feeling normal, I'm starting to film videos again and do stuff worth filming. So I'll edit some of this together soon and have something for you guys to watch. I guess I'm about ready to end this video. I'm not sure if there's anything else here worth showing you guys. It's the Yodeler restaurant. I bet it's way overpriced. I bet it's good though. I don't know what else to do. Let me check my comments in case anybody had any questions or anything. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be having the uh, boondocking bash again this year. Yes, that is my plan. I'm also thinking about having a big New Year's party. I got to talk to some other people and figure out some logistics. So I'll need some help. But everybody hates 2020, right? This year has been crap for so many people. So I have a feeling when New Year's gets here, it's going to be the biggest New Year's blowout ever. Everybody's going to be so ready to ring this year out. So I say we need to have a big-ass New Year's party. <clears throat> and then the part you are. Tile's not doing it anymore. And I said something about that, and on his message, he's like, well, you know, just because I'm not doing it doesn't mean it, it can't happen. 
if you guys want to make it happen so you know I want to make it happen and so do some other people so as long as everybody's on the same page we might also have a party R this year a boondocking bash a New Year's party and a party R why not see if there's any more questions or anything I guess not I guess I'm gonna end this video um, I got to get back down to town and get something to eat it's uh, really nice up here it's it's probably like 60 degrees it was 50s up on top of the mountain and it's like 70s in town and 80s back down by the hot spring so it's like pick your weather if you want hotter drive down a mile if you want cooler you drive up a mile it's kind of nice i guess i'm gonna get back over here and get going thanks for watching everybody